Hey guys, Hackers Floyd here, back again with another video and welcome back to the OSINT gathering course with Recon NG. All right, so in this video, we're gonna be looking at uh, the commands that you can use. We're gonna be looking at workspaces, how to add new workspaces, and we're gonna be looking at data management and how data is managed uh, with Recon NG because as I said, it is quite an advanced, uh, it's quite an advanced data management system and it's very important to understand how data is stored so that you don't run into issues later on. That being said, uh, let's get started. So I already have Recon NG opened up and started. And as you can see, I have uh, Recon NG opened. If you haven't started yours, it's really very simple to launch it. Just type in Recon NG or you can browse to the uh, directory in which you have it saved and installed. If that's if you're running a Linux distribution uh, that uh, is not oriented towards penetration testing. All right, so before we get started, I just want to explain uh, the structure of Recon NG. All right, so Recon NG has modules very similar to w Metasploit, all right? Now, you might be asking yourself, well, what are these modules? Well, these modules are essentially scripts that will perform a certain action, all right? So in this case, there's, there are going to be scripts that will perform a, a scan on your on the target or the company that you've specified. That's what it is really, really simply. Now, let me explain the structure here. You can see that when I've started up Recon NG, uh, you have this default here. This is specifying the workspace. So right now we're using the default workspace. All right, let me just make that clear. Now, the first command I just want to show you is the show command. All right, so the show command will uh, enumerate or show you all the date, uh, the database tables that uh, you can use to fill in information in regards to your target. Let me explain uh, what I mean by clicking on it. So if I type in show, and uh, it's gonna essentially display some information that I can use. And this might be a little bit confusing, but don't worry. So again, it's saying I can use show, as you can see, it's saying usage, use show, with any of these other database base tables. So show banner, show companies, show contacts, show, show credentials. So this is all information that you can add in regards to the company or the organization that you want to perform the scan on. So let's say I wanted to show the, uh, the domains of a company or the domains that I currently have. Uh, it will show me the, the domains that I've saved to the database, but we don't have any. And I'll show you that right now. So if I said show, uh, domains, you can see that it'll say no data returned because we haven't added any. So that brings us to the next command, the add command. All right, very, very important. So uh, before we actually go into adding information, let's take a look at um, some other inf important information, which is the dashboard. If I was to say show dashboard, uh, this will essentially tell you that this workspace has no record of activity. The dashboard is very important because the dashboard will show you all current activities or tasks that were performed, all right, on this workspace. So workspace is essentially a separate uh, a separator that you can use for organization, uh, uh, you know, of your scans. Okay, so we are using the default work workspace. Now you might be curious as to uh, you might be curious and you might be thinking to yourself, well, uh, we are using the default workspace, but can I add a new one? Of course you can. So let's clear that. By the way, you can use the clear command if you want. All right, let me just um, let me just uh, adjust myself here, guys. All right, excellent. So getting back uh, to adding a workspace. To add it, it's really very simple. All you need to do is you need to use the command workspace because we're specifying workspace. Remember, if I type in show, you can see that we have workspaces right here. So the, the command we use is workspaces, workspaces, all right? And we say add. Remember, we specify the table name which is workspaces, then add. When we're adding modules or adding information to any of these, we use the add command first. All right, so workspaces add, and uh, we can add a new workspace. So we can, let's say workspace one, all right? That's my own name. You can name it whatever you want, whatever you're comfortable with, and I hit enter. All right, give it a few seconds. Don't worry if it gives you the API errors. That is very, very common, and it might be a, bit, a little bit irritating, but don't worry. So you can see, that uh, let me just clear this up. You can see that it's changed our def uh, our current working workspace to workspace one, the workspace that we just created. So if I was to you know if I was to type in um, let let's see uh, if I was to just type in show and then I say show, you can see that if I say show workspaces, 
we will now show us that we have our default one and we have our workstation and uh, a workspace one okay so you can see it's stored nicely in a database that you can also later on access and it will display the information really really well okay so we've added our workspace now in the file uh, structure of um, of recon ng you can see that if i open up recon ng here you might be a little bit confused as to how data is stored and i'll be explaining that in later videos but you you, you can get a, a bit of an idea as to how data is being stored if you look at the uh, the recon ng folder that exists in the user share recon ng folder you know all that good stuff but we'll be looking at that later right now don't worry about this folder the reason i've showed you that folder is because that's where your reports will be generated okay that being said um now we can actually move on so we have looked at how to add workspaces we can add as many as you like and you can do whatever you want now what if we wanted to switch our workspace back to the default one which is the one that we were given uh to do that we use the um we use the uh what's that command again we say um select the default workspaces select default and then let me just do that right now workspaces remember we we always select the table for uh, the table first so works uh, workspaces and we say select default so that's a new a command that you should know and so the select command is going to be very 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 common to what we have made with metasploit as you might have noticed the commands are very very similar to what we have with metasploit all right so once it's a default it's going to uh, take us back to our default workspace and again it'll give you these api errors but don't worry about that it's not going to affect anything all right so now uh we need to add some information about the target let let me actually show you an example of how a scan can be performed with modules now have i actually shown you any modules well if i was to just show you modules here that exist and um well, actually, uh, the, the the best way of doing this is actually me showing you how to use one of these uh, these modules. So if I say show modules, all right, so show modules, these are all the modules that will perform tasks. You might be asking, what do you mean? Can you clarify that a little bit? Well, these are essentially uh, similar to what you have in Metasploit. They perform a specific task. So you can see uh, this module right here, for example, will uh, will will look at uh, locations and we look at reversing the geocode all right then we then have the um, for example uh, location push pins twitter this will essentially given the information that you would need to provide like a twitter uh, twitter username this will essentially try and grab the information in regards to where this twitter user has been moving in terms of their location all right so let's say you wanted to um you wanted to use the net uh the net blocks here so if you have performed information gathering before you know that net blocks offers fantastic uh, who is information and that's what we're going to be using okay so i'll show you how to do this uh, with a simple example so let me clear that up and let's say now we're performing a scan on uh let me just decide a company or a website that uh, that's open source um let me just think of one uh we can actually just use uh Hmm, let me just decide. Sorry about this, guys. Uh, we can just use BBC. I think that would be much better. And BBC is the British Broadcasting Corporation. Uh, so what we would do is, if we show, let's look at what information we would need to add. So let's say we wanted to add domains, because that's the most important thing right now, because we are going to perform who is a who is scan on our domain. So I'm going to say uh, add domains. That's the command that you need to use to add uh, to add value to a certain table. So add domains and once i hit enter it's going to ask me to add the domain so in this case i'll just hit bbc.com uh, all right and that is the domain simple as that once i hit enter it's going to say fantastic so now if i say show domains you can see that bbc is added now we let's say we wanted to add companies all right so companies right here so come companies and we would say uh, we'll just call it bbc and i'm going to hit enter in description uh, we'll just call it a uh, news agency. Of course, that's not an accurate uh, description. Again, you know, I'm just showing you how to go about using this. So uh, once I've set the description, awesome. So we've set some pretty good uh, information here. And if I just say show co companies, you can see we have BBC. It's a news agency. And you can now see how important Recon NG is in terms of sorting your data out and how it's displayed to you. And, you know, instead of browsing with your browser manually performing who is checks, you can always set your companies here and perform mass amounts of scans as we'll be looking at. 
Okay, so now uh, we need to select a module that we want to use. So we can use the search command. Let's say I wanted to perform a who is, uh, you know, who is scan. So I'm going to search for who is just to display what modules exist in regards to who is. So I'm going to say search who is. And as you can see, um, we have recon right here. This is the one I want to use. We can use the, um, let's see, net blocks, uh, companies who is, we can actually use the point of contacts right here. So let's actually use that one. So we'll say, um, we'll say use who is, and we can say POSC, uh, POCS. All right. So, uh, that will generate a contact information in regards to our target. So let me just clear that up. And as you can see, now it's specified the module that we are using. And now you might be asking, well, is if, if, if it is similar to Metasploit, can we use the show options command to display information that we can change in regards to our target? Well, yes, we can. And the command is slightly different. Instead of using show options, we use show info and that will display the module information and it will display the author, the description of what it does and the source, which we have set by default. It's going to use the default domains. If you've added more than one domain or company, it will ask you to specify. Okay. So uh, right now we don't need to change anything and we'll be looking at changing all of this. But for now, don't worry. Don't overcomplicate stuff. Uh, all we need to do now is hit run. And once I hit run, you can see it's going to start running uh, the, uh, the who is scan on our domain right here, which is bbc.com. And immediately uh, it's going to start gathering information. So let's see uh, what information it was able to gather. So you can see we've got an email right here. We've got Justin Van Abrahams. Uh, we, we have uh, Charles Keating and his email. So again, you can see our information. This is uh, you have Craig Fancy and you get the idea. Performing these scans is now a whole lot better. And this is why I recommend using Recon NG for, you know, OSINT gathering, because this is a fantastic, uh, very, very comprehensive tool that will really, really, uh, you know, give you a professional edge when it comes down to, uh, to, to information gathering. All right. That being said, that's going to be it for this video. In the next video, we'll be looking at more advanced commands and some more, uh, data management. Uh, but that being said, that's going to be it for this video. I uh, hope you liked this video, found value in it. If you did, please leave a like down below. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, let me know in the comment section or on my social networks. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace.